Hey everyone, it's Glenn. Fresh blueberries. Yum. Um, I want to share two ideas with you. Ideas I probably should have shared in week one, but week six will do since we're here now. Um, idea number one, you can have an art career. Idea number two, it's going to be work. Okay. Idea number one, you can have an art career. Obviously, many of you have always known this. Duh, why else did I go to art school? Of course, to have an art career. But I think that some of us, quite reasonably or understandably, uh, have not always known or maybe not always believed that an art career was actually possible. Art is different than a subject like medicine. Um, I read a book some years back that gave statistics on how many Americans get MFA degrees in art and how many Americans get MD degrees in medicine and the crazy different percentages of people who get MFAs and then don't practice art versus get MDs and then don't practice medicine. And the book made the observation that if people getting medical degrees and not practicing medicine was as high a percentage as it is for art, that there would literally be a congressional investigation as to the outrageous failure of our medical education system. Yet for art, we just kind of accept that that's the way it is. Um, point number one is you can have an art career if you want one. Now, one person in the class is completing an art degree uh, and then he's going to go off and get a credential and teach biology. That's great. I do not need for you to have an art career, but my mission this semester, if I can, is to help you have whatever career you want to have. You're leaving the School of Art very, very soon, and we have not spent that much time on professional practices, on helping you make sense of you know, pricing and networking and how do you connect to the art galleries you want to connect to to develop uh, a gallery exhibition career to the employers and clients you want to connect to to have a commercial career. Those things are work. We've spent a lot of your, you know, you spent the last four to seven years in the School of Art at Long Beach State or maybe other schools that you went to before you came here. Many of you obviously have been training for much longer than that. And we've been developing your craft, your technical skills, your aesthetic sense, your conceptual ideas, all of these things which are fundamental to you making art, be it gallery art, commercial art, or any other kind of hybrid interactive space. But we have not talked so much about this career business, which is kind of critical. I have a friend who um, is, a, is a gallery artist, a conceptual artist. She does you know, very powerful and important work. She's not commercial at all. And yet she tells her students at another university um, that she recommends getting a minor in business. In many ways, you can think about business, oh, art, you know, we're so pure, and business is, oh, that's, you know, it's like dirty. But no, um, if your career is about making things for $1.10 and selling them for a dollar, which is not really terrible in the beginning because it's more important to get connections and get started, but at some point, if you make things for $1.10, you need to sell them for $2 or you're not going to have a career uh, in a gallery or in a commercial context. So um, we have not spent a lot of time on that, I think, with most of you probably. So first, it's just it's possible. It is absolutely possible. People do it every day, but also people don't do it. And my fear is that you might like to have an art career, but not get over the hump of making it happen. So again, that's what I think is my mission or our mission this semester is to help you have whatever career you want. Again, if you want to go teach biology, that's great. All good. I, I think the art degree will have been valuable and you will use it in different ways through the years of your life, through the different chapters of your life. But I don't want you to give up on an art career simply because it's hard or confusing and it's easier to you know, be a, a buyer at some company, you know, helping them work with sourcing materials or you know, whatever other perfectly reasonable but not art career you might fall into. And point number two, which I've kind of already said, is it's work. Um, 
all this effort that you've put into completing this degree, developing these skills, you know, thinking through these ideas, grappling with Zoom University and COVID and you're burnt out both from online education and the pandemic, as well as just burnt out from years and years of education. And it's kind of, I'm done. And now here I am telling you, okay, you're ready to get started. But that's exactly right. You are completing a chapter and now you have to start the next chapter. And the next chapter, your skills will still develop, your conceptual ideas will still develop, but you've got to connect to the world now. If you can't make that happen, and you absolutely can, it's not, it's not that hard. It just requires effort and persistence. Uh, as artists, many of us, certainly myself, uh, we often have thin skin. You need to have a little bit thicker skin. It's easy to say, it's hard to actually get there, but you're gonna get rejection. Occasionally, you'll actually get rejection like you're not very good or something like that, but much more often, it's just people don't return your calls, they don't return your emails. You, nobody really says that you are or are not good, you are or are not capable or what they're looking for. It's just this kind of silent ghosting you know, thing. Press on, connect to more people. There is always somebody who might give you a gallery show or maybe put one of your pieces in a group show. There is always somebody who needs a logo design, an illustration, or wants to buy a piece of ceramic art, whether it's something you've already made or something that you make custom for them. The, the list goes on. Um, so our mission really is to shape up this portfolio, to take the work you've done and focus it. We've already talked about all this, but I just want to say it again, to, to focus it into a something that you can present to the world and say, this is who I am, this is what I do. And then to actually get out there and connect to people. You have got to talk to artists, to curators, to HR directors, to creative directors, to art directors. This is your career for as long as you choose to have an art career, which could be one week or you know, five decades. That's up to you. Again, you wanna go teach biology? Rock on, that's fine. I just don't want you to not have an art career because you didn't know how or you were afraid or you didn't think it was possible. It is possible. So make it happen. Reach out. I know you're busy with a lot of things. Many of us are introverts and you know, trying to get in touch with strangers is, is not our first choice. Under normal circumstances, the pandemic just makes everything harder and more frustrating. But let's go for it. As always, Give me a shout if I can help. Good luck.